Russia's plan to blackmail Europe with gas prices in order to weaken support for Ukraine has failed. It was not possible to find such a large-scale market as Europe for the energy resources of the Russian Federation. Meanwhile, Europe has signed contracts with other suppliers and Russian companies have to simply ban gas because shutting down wells can freeze the entire industry. Most wells are flooded when they are closed because most Russian wells continue to operate in a water pressure mode. When the well is closed, the water that provides support for the gas is simply penetrating the well and it is flooded. Therefore, they have been burning gas for so long and stubbornly. That is, in fact, there was evidence that the taiga was on fire. We saw how they cynically burned gas on the border with the European Union, showing it all. But statistics is a difficult scene. Now we have the month of November and Russia has nowhere to sell its gas. According to experts, before the coronavirus pandemic, Russia produced a trillion cubic meters of gas per year. After the pandemic started, the numbers dropped to 840 billion. Now, gas production is striving for indicators at the level of about 430 billion cubic meters per year. Such an amount is needed to cover only the domestic needs of the Russian Federation. Strategy. The strategy of freezing Europe is absolutely not working. It has failed. To talk in absolute terms, from a very large supplier with a market share of more than 40 percent at the beginning of this year, Russia has turned into a player with a percentage of less than 7, with a market share of less than 7 percent. And Europe has not limited itself to looking for a replacement of the Russian resource only for this season. Long-term contracts are concluded. The strategy of work and the search for energy resources is changing completely, and this is bearing fruit. Despite the fact that Europe's gas storage facilities are 93 percent full on average, there is a queue of LNG terminals with liquid gas in EU ports. Now, practically all gas storage facilities in Europe are full. Some are still being filled. Some have already begun to be used. But there has never been such a level of filling the gas storage facilities in Europe. And here you need to understand that 100% filling means different sins for different countries. That is, for example, for a country like Germany, it seems to have large storage facilities. And Austria is located next to its storage facilities, with its hubs. But it turns out that this gas is enough for them for two to three months or four months. Then our 15 billion cubic meters of gas for Europe, for some countries, this is an annual supply, for some half a year, for some only two months. Ukraine is also ready to help Europe. In addition to supplying 15 billion cubic meters of gas, Kiev in the future will be able to send other energy resources to the EU countries, all for the sake of stopping blackmail by the Kremlin. We should not fear an energy crisis in the long term. Ukraine, with its nuclear power, renewable potential, including hydrogen and biogas, could replace Russia as a continental energy supplier. Energy will be the source of development, not the fuel for wars. Yaroslav Demchenkov, Deputy Minister of Energy of Ukraine for European Integration, during a speech at the Central European Energy Conference 2022. Amid the Kremlin's energy blackmail in September, Ukraine increased its own gas production. In just a month, 30,000 cubic meters were produced. However, the result of the fact that all wells are working today will be noticeable at least in half a year, experts say. I think we have to raise the question of increasing our own production to achieve energy independence at the first step and in the future, if possible, to become a gas exporter. And the first goal should be the minimum goal. The next goal to become an exporter is also quite ambitious. But in my opinion, this is an absolutely realistic goal and we should strive for it. Reported by Dana Kolesnik, Larissa Zubenko, UATV News.